Hey guys, welcome back to Two Way Defy and another speed build. Today we'll be on Avery Star is a modern type of house. It's not really that complex, but it does have some minor areas where you have to be careful of placement of certain things. Uh, so we're just going to start with the regular um, quadrilateral room, um, a back wall, and a side wall, which you can close off with a um, slanted wall. Uh, you're not going to do anything to that space in the middle, you're just going to go upstairs and follow suit on with the same back wall and side wall with a slanted wall to close, that, to close off that area and another closed off area to the side just like that uh, to finish this out because it's not really the base isn't completed so you're just going to take out that and really just flatten it off, just square it off and to get a type of slanted area we're going to use a roof and attach it to the wall the problem with roofs is that when you attach it to the wall you can make a part of it disappear but there will always be a slight edge as you can see right there in the corner there's a slight edge still protruding out from that um, you can't actually take it off unless the wall is bigger than that so we're just gonna leave that there and focus on the top you're gonna go and make use a half wall and carry out the upstairs structure by one it has to be further out than the first floor and then you're gonna use a half wall and just encircle that entire area then we're going to use a slanted wall and create another room on the second floor. Just let it cut through the half wall and just make that entire floor. And that's almost complete. Almost complete. Um, so sorry for the speed of this. My keyboard and mouse are really malfunctioning today so yeah that's it you're gonna use a foundation and just fill in that little gap area right there and you're gonna raise the foundation as well to make it higher and you're also going to have to carry down the roof you're gonna use a stair any stairs you like and just cover off that entire area I'm just gonna use two for now because you're going to need another roof on the other side just to so I'm going to use two for now just to leave it there and see how it looks um, so yeah like I said with the roof there will, there will always be a small area left out protruding even though it's on the wall so you can fully carry it out now stairs you can carry it further out and let it just encompass everything but first, you're going to want to have your main walls, your front walls, and just close off that area there. And just remove those half walls that's in that room. And that's almost it. That's almost the entire structure of the house, so you can really lengthen out those stairs. Uh, you can fiddle around with this like I'm about to do right now just fiddle around with the roof shape and size and structure you can make any size you want and now we're just gonna put in some windows um, the windows I'm gonna use are double windows uh, for the f entirety of the front um, then you're gonna have some single windows I really really like these windows I don't know why but I don't like how the front part of this house looks uh, I hate my mouse. <laughs> um, I really don't like how the front part of this house looks, so just gonna edit it just a bit to. No, no, don't want that. Um, we're gonna edit it just a little bit to give it um, a rigid appearance, so it will look like there's some columns right there. Uh, it's probably best to do this before you actually do anything else but I really didn't think that the roof would actually come out like that but I'm pleased with the appearance that it has in the end
Alright, so now we're gonna choose more windows. Um, using single windows and double windows are actually fine. This is a really modern house. You know, you're not gonna be using um, many curved windows. Just gonna use windows with nice clean lines. And uh, gonna create a final half story using half walls. Just encompassing the shape. And wait, this doesn't look right. Um, yeah, no, you're gonna want. Hmm, I'm gonna try to put some windows up here. No, you're gonna want the half wall to be further out than the than that than the other walls, so that it gives it an overbearing appearance and creates a shadow down below. Alright, so now we can go back to um, putting on windows. I really like those big windows at the end of that floor though. Alright, so choosing a front door is almost as important as choosing the best tiles and paintings and paint for a bathroom. Uh, we're going to do some minor landscaping. Because I want to have an area set out, but I don't want to put anything there as yet, because I might do more with the um, front yard, but I'm not sure as yet. Normally I'd use that space for a car, but the Sims 4 doesn't have cars in there, so I guess we'll just leave that for now. And now we can actually go ahead and edit the inside, take out walls, do basically anything that we want to do. So that so we're gonna take out the walls for that entire room, that entire area right there. And we're gonna put in and remove the floor. And we're gonna remove the wall from the first row as well. And we're gonna put in some stairs. Um, I really like these stairs. They look really nice and clean. So we're gonna put in those stairs and some stair railings and a fence. Yeah, I like that fence. So now we can start. start putting in windows on the second floor I think I'm gonna leave just these two windows up there I don't really want to put any more up there as yet because I'm not sure how the layout of that floor is gonna go just because of um, the shape and position of it Alright, so now we can go and start painting and um, we're going to just do the entire house in white except for that second floor. That second floor that's protruding right there will be done in pitch black. I choose white because this house is really modern. Um, didn't really want it to have too many bright colors just a nice plain white really simple really gives off a fresh look especially with the clean lines that it has it really sets off the design and for the front pillars uh, a nice gray a nice gray would be good I'm trying to find one that's rock or stone but can't really find oh there's one so a nice gray color just just differentiate it from the rest of the house to make it pop it is really good and there we have the finished structure completely so now we can start um, putting in tiles and other windows for the kitchen choosing a window for the kitchen is actually really hard really really hard so we're just gonna go with double windows on both sides 
Yeah, just like that. Um, now we can choose a tile. I choose this tile because I don't know. This tile just screamed at me. It's like when you're going shopping and you see and you see that tile that just pops and just says, "Use me. I will give the best look for your house." That's what that tile did for me. Um, trying to experiment to see which one of these floor floors would actually go best. I really like hardwood floors, but I'm not sure which one would actually work. Uh, that space over there, I'm going to use that for an office. And just to finish it off, an entrance carpet. Alright, so now that that's all done, we have an overview. I really don't like how this roof is you know just protruding into the house like that well we're gonna leave that for now until we sort that out so we're just gonna put in some stone right where I did that little spraying alright so now we can see that um, cut out floor it's just really it's really a nice look just allows a lot more light to flow into the house All right, so now we paint the inside and this area here is going to be a bar I wouldn't want that bar to be in the same colors everywhere else so we're just gonna give that a different shade uh, the kitchen also gets a different shade and this dining room area there that also gets a different shade from the kitchen just to separate all three areas alright so now we're gonna really start getting into decoration with the counters being placed um, I really wanted a, a type of counter that would look that would separate itself from the floor so white countertops actually do that especially from an aerial view just makes everything look a little bit brighter even though it's actually very dark so we're gonna do it gonna do a round island and just join everything together um, this area here you know sometimes it's just nice to have an inside grill where you can just do whatever you want in your kitchen grill some hot dogs because the stove that we're gonna put in here won't allow that. Uh, we're gonna put in the fridge, make it white because everything else in here is really dark. So you're gonna want that fridge to be white. And I would love to have put in one of those chef stations, but no, no, we're just not gonna do that. Uh, so there's a stove, like I said, and there's that stove hood. What I like about this hood the most is that it allows an area of light to be there so not only is it taking away all the smoke from your stove but it's also giving you a lot of light and I really like that and now the cabinets I really like those cabinets especially the one in the corner um, now we got some appliances uh, putting in some extra counters sinks coffee maker the usual appliances for the sims as well as two dishwashers when you have a kitchen this big I think trying to find the placement the right area to place everything is really important because you don't want it to look empty you don't really want it to have that empty appearance you just want it to look like an actual kitchen that someone would have you know dishes there you have some pots and pans over there in the corner you have appliances all over the place you know like an actual kitchen that someone would use so we're just gonna decorate it and choose a bar I really like the bar choices that the Sims 4 gives because it gives a lot more than the Sims 3 did and they're just absolutely amazing the realistic look of the sims 4 is just awesome All right, so now we're gonna get started on the 
dining room. Uh, we're not finished with the kitchen yet. I might put some more stuff in there, but we're just going to go ahead and do the dining room. Uh, eight seats around the table. And one thing that I really wanted to always try is to put waterfalls inside the house, but this really wouldn't look realistic with the water just, you know, going down into the floor. So we're going to make a small fountain outside with the waterfalls out there right outside the window so as you're eating you can just look outside and see that amazing waterfall right just like that alright so now you just have to put some more clutter in there and that's the beautiful thing about the sims where it, it gives you a lot of clutter to choose from and I use clutter because they serve no practical purpose they absolutely they have no purpose there the sims don't even use them they don't mind them they're just there to make everything seem a little bit more realistic uh, so we're just gonna try to fill in these spaces here I think this this actually works well in this space it fits perfectly there um, don't want to use that this looks really good this is really good, especially black and it's contrasting with the white of the entire house. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go into the living room and just start there with a fireplace. I really like this fireplace. It reminds me of some uh, gas fireplaces, but not really. It's a bit more modern. So choosing a coffee table just to have the TV to stand on. This is the reason why my house is actually cost a lot. I just use too much stuff that is unnecessary. Alright, so this chair, I did not know that it, I could just move it by itself. I thought it came together. I thought it was like um, one of those chairs that The Sims 3 had where you could sit there and eat with it at the same time. I thought it was just a combo like that, but no, you can move them separately. So we're just going to finish off the living room with some plants. Plants are really nice to have in your house. They just give a different look to everything. And three small seats right there. And that's the living room complete. I'm putting a door there because I think I'm going to use that area as a bathroom. Maybe a half bath full bath I'm not sure I may put a shower in there later right, so choosing a tile and paint for that room and as well as the office I always like I always do the office and the bathroom at the same time whenever it's downstairs also choosing a kitchen backsplash I really like that backsplash it really goes well against the black it's just always nice to see a white backsplash on black paint or whatever you're going to use. So, in my last flip, I saw these plants that you could actually pee on. And it would make your sim just, it would relieve them. And I really want to put them in a bathroom. I just really do, but not this bathroom, it's too small. It's too small and the bathroom that's going to be upstairs, I don't want to put it in that bathroom. It's really supposed to be like an ensuite. So I don't want to put it in that bathroom. Alright, so just going to change the layout a little bit. And continue with the build. Sometimes offices don't need doors, they just need an arch. They just need an archway to get in. And that desk, I must say, is the best thing that I have ever seen for an office. It, it's just, when you look at that desk, it screams, I am modern. It just screams that. I've never actually made a design like that using bookshelves. Never. And now we finish up the office with some paintings, 
Uh, aquariums. Okay, that's it. The Sims 4 is officially the best because the aquariums that the Sims 3 didn't even have aquariums. It had little fish bowls. That's what it had. Little fish bowls. So to see a huge aquarium like that, that's just absolutely awesome. I'm finishing it off with three single couches because you really need to have those in in any office there is. And that's the office done. I think I'm actually finished with the first floor. So now we're going to go into the second floor and just part that off. Because we're, we're going to make a huge master suite and en suite. Uh, just to paint the upstairs. Uh, choosing the doors for an en suite. It's like they have to be really nice, but they also have to be, I don't know, I'd say professional. Would professional be the right word? No. Yeah, elegant. Elegant and luxurious. And those doors scream elegance and luxuriousness. I, I really hate choosing paints for bedrooms. No paint has ever actually made me feel like I want to be in that room and whenever I'm making a house for the sims that's the main point you have to want to be in that room and until I found that paint for the bedroom it's just never been done before I've never felt like I wanted to be in that room okay this was this was just a bad idea bad idea those bricks no horrible idea what was I thinking these styles do it so much better Alright, so there we go. Two archways. I think that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Alright, now to design the bedroom. I think bedrooms for the Sims are just really, really simple. This closet, it, it just, it filled me with joy to see it. It reminds me of the elevators in The Sims 3. But it's just... I don't even know if a sim can use it. I've never actually had a sim open closet doors like that. Alright, so like I said, designing a bedroom in The Sims 4 is actually really easy. There's not a lot of stuff that you have at your disposal that would fit in a traditional bedroom. But you can really switch it up with the um, dressers and end tables that you have at your disposal. So while there's not a lot, you can actually play around with designs and take some things from the living room, put in the bedroom, things like that. And for this master suite, I am in love with this tub. I'm just in love with it. Like I've been playing The Sims 4 for just a little while now, but this tub, I am really in love with it. So now we're going to do the counters for this ensuite, and I like it, I, I just like it when the counters are facing the window, so when you're doing your morning routine, you're just looking out at the window, and everyone can just stare right back at you. So we're going to put in two ovum baths, ovum sinks, sorry. I don't know why they call them ovum, I don't know if they realize what an ovum is, but... Sure, let's go with over. And just take one little thing from the kitchen. I don't think I've ever seen anyone have cabinets like these in their bathroom. But let's just go with that. Um, we're gonna want a shower in here because it's an ensuite. You know, you have a tub. Let's go with the shower. And again, plants, because plants just make everything look better. And for a bathroom, the main plant that you're going to want to use is bamboo. And again, plants make everything better. So why not have a plant that's shaped like an egg in the hallway? Yeah, we already have ovum sinks in the 
bathroom. So let's go with the plan shaped like an egg in the hallway. Alright, so we're just gonna close off the back of that closet like we would normally have to do in the same studio. You don't have to do it here, but I wanted to because it, it felt really weird leaving it. Alright, so now to increase the property value, <laughs> we're gonna make a kid's bedroom and I really wanted to go silly with this bedroom but all of these wallpapers are really scary like I'm just wondering what would a three-year-old or not three what would a five-year-old in this bedroom sleeping by themselves think when all they're looking at is ghosts they would never sleep ever alright so we're just gonna choose the silliest beds ever just just really mix up the colors and I'm not really sure I'm gonna leave that there, but just for now, just to let it stay there for a little bit. Uh, it's a ch it's a kids room, so one of the main things that you're gonna have a lot of posters, pictures, drawings, something, anything, just to have it there. All right, so we're gonna put some windows there just to allow a little bit more light inside. And what 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 was that? Was that a wine glass? That was a wine glass. Why? It's the Sims, and these are kids. So let's go really silly. Just a lot of posters, pictures lining off the walls, and this thing that I put up here earlier when I was building. Why I'm keeping this, I don't know. It just I've never used it before and I really hope to put my sims in this house I hope to be able to buy this I'll probably have to work like two generations before I can actually buy this house but I'll buy it so downstairs we're just gonna put in a shower because there is no shower upstairs there's only one shower and I will not have my master suite and my ensuite be used by anyone else thank you guys for watching this speed build um, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel uh, you can visit us at on twitter and instagram at 2 thanks again we'll see you on the next clip